So it's just a little video diary. So we've just turned up at the Oval Cricket Ground. Here is the Invincibles coach or coaches, just parked up outside the ground. And there's the Birmingham Phoenix coach. So it will be in the ladies final, which is about to start in about the next 10, 15 minutes. It's Birmingham against Oval for the women's elimination match. Whoever wins this goes on to play in the final at Lord's Cricket Ground on Sunday, I do believe, if I've remembered my dates. And following on from that, you've got the, the men's game, which will be the Southern Brave against the Trent Rockets. Here we are. The Oval Cricket Ground looking magnificent as always. One of the great cricketing arenas of this country. Let's hope for a good game. So there we are. This is the Members Pavilion. Look at that. So unfortunately for this clip I've had to delete the audio to avoid a copyright strike. Very, very frustrating guys. Um, but basically the official theme tune to the 100 was playing so don't want to get a copyright strike so I've had to remove the audio sadly it's very frustrating but I hope you guys understand and hopefully a picture paints a thousand words and you get the gist of what's going on here So a little bit of footballing history for you guys. This shirt was presented to Surrey County Cricket Club to mark the 140th anniversary of the very first FA Cup final, which was held at the Oval Cricket Ground in 1872. The winning team was Wanderers, who beat the Royal Engineers by a score of one goal to nil. The Oval held 20 FA Cup finals, the last being in 1892 when West Bromwich Albion beat Aston Villa 3-0. On the 140th anniversary, so in 2012, of that first match at the Oval, the first FA Cup final, Surrey County Cricket Club invited both teams back to replay the game, which Royal Engineers gained a level of revenge for by beating Wanderers 7-1. And this is a Wanderers shirt. <laughs> So over in bits of balls and face fifty balls in this elimination match of the Oval. 50 balls, they've currently got 45 runs for the loss of 3 wickets. Currently at the crease you've got Capsi on 3, Cap on 11. So if they carry on on this exact same trajectory for the next 50 balls, they're scoring 90 runs. I don't think that's quite good enough. I think Birmingham Phoenix have done tremendously well to restrict them to that total. Will they be able to carry on or will Oval Invincibles hit the afterburners in the next 50 balls or will they even bat out the next 50 balls? Stay tuned to find out. Thank you. 
last five balls of the innings. The Oval Invincibles are facing. They're currently on 104 runs. Six wickets down. Make that 96 balls. So there's four balls left. We're now at 104 runs. I think they need to get at least, in my opinion, another 15 runs. But I don't really see that's going to happen. That one goes. They're coming back for a second. No. Oh, there could be a run out here. There's a run out. There we go. Run out. One of them, one of them read for the second run. The other one was saying, no, don't. The one that was going for the second run was out of her crease. So there's four balls left, 105 runs. And that is going for four. That takes it to 109 runs. 97 balls left. Two balls left, 110 scored. That one, nicked. They're going, no, well fielded. They're coming back for a second. That's one ball left to bowl. They've got 112 over invincibles. It's a half decent total, but I think they could have done better. But to be fair, Birmingham Phoenix have bowled and fielded well to restrict that total. So last ball of the innings for Oval Invincibles. Here she comes in. Bowls. That's hoisted. And that, no, I thought that had gone for four, but they've run a second. And they finished at 112. They're 100 balls. So Oval Invincibles finished on 114 runs. They're 100 balls. They batted out. They lost seven wickets. I think they needed to get a few more runs. I think 120 would have been a more respectable target for Birmingham Phoenix to aim for, in fairness. I think it's a little bit light. But we'll see. Birmingham Phoenix, to be fair, they they bowled and they fielded really well. I think the Oval Invincibles were probably hamstrung by the early loss of Danny Van Nieker. But they, they did well because, I mean, to be fair, when 50 balls bowled, as I said, they would, if they'd have carried on the trajectory they were on at that point, they had 45 runs, they'd have had 90 balls after 100. So they've obviously finished, what, 24 runs above that. So they, they made a good recovery in the second half. So uh, all to play for, we'll see what Birmingham Phoenix can do. So they've got to get 115 runs to win this match to get to the final at Lords on Sunday against the Southern Brave. So Birmingham Phoenix have batted, they've faced 50 balls, they've got 50 left. They've now just lost the third wicket. They need another, another 49 runs. And they've just lost another wicket. So I had to stop there because I didn't want to get a copyright strike because the music started playing. So on the 50th ball, Birmingham Phoenix lost another wicket in successive balls. They are now have 48 balls left and they require 48 runs I believe wait for the scoreboard to update no it's, it's still 49 runs off of 48 balls they've got 6 wickets left in hand Tash Farrant's bowling at the minute she's conceded 6 runs off her 7 deliveries with 1 wicket claim both teams have a review remaining I'd say that Birmingham Phoenix are ahead their current score is 66 runs the DLS par is 61, so they're ahead of that by five runs. So I think it's Birmingham Phoenix's game to lose, quite honestly. At the moment, I think the Oval Invincibles need to get a bit of a move on. But they're moving in the right direction, I think, in the last five, ten balls. So you never know. Let's see what happens. So they've got ten balls left. They've just bowled. We've now got nine balls left, 22 to win. Birmingham Phoenix. 
they've got two wickets left. Oval Invincibles have done really well, really well. I thought they were in trouble, to be honest. Shows you what I know about cricket, doesn't it? So Tash Farron is the bowler, is the bowler at the minute. She's facing Harlot, who's on two. Comes in, bowls, and that is out. Great catch by the fielder for that last wicket. Great catch by the fielder for that last wicket. So comes in, bowls, and that I think is going to go just for the single. It's collected by the wicket keeper. We now have seven balls left. Birmingham Phoenix with 21 runs, and they have one wicket left in hand. And say Oval Invincible have done really, really well to turn this around. I thought they had no chance to be perfectly honest with you at one point. I thought their total was a bit light. And part way through Birmingham Phoenix's batting innings. That's it! So here we are, we've got 25 minutes till the men's elimination match here at the Oval is underway, which is Southern Brave against Tre Trent Rockets. Whoever wins this plays in the fight men's final tomorrow at Lords against the Birmingham Phoenix. Again, these are two teams. Obviously, they finished second and third in the league standings. So, to be fair, it's, it's anyone's game. There's no overwhelming favourite, really. Second beat third there. You know, there's not going to be too much between them. It's not like it's second against fifth or something like that. So... It should be a close game. So, 100 balls each. Winner gets to the final. Loser gets what Jim Bowen used to say on Bullseye. BFH, bus fare home. Halfway stage of the Trent Rockets innings. They've faced 50 balls, they've got 57 runs, the loss of four wickets. Sam Patel's in at the minute. And just behind us, look at the state of that barnet, seriously. This is actually my real hair. It is, it is his real hair. Real hair. I'll tell you something, it's just his luck. He went to the toilet, ladies and gentlemen, and he's missed the only six so far in this innings. How's your luck? How's your luck? Right, so we've got 10 balls left of the Trent Rockets. And oh, I think this might be it. Trent Rockets have got 96 runs, 90 balls, but they've lost 9 wickets and it's all over. It's 
all over. Trent Rockets are all out. 96 runs of the 91 ball. Southern Brave are now batting and they've got to get 97 to win to advance to the final tomorrow at Lords against the Birmingham Phoenix. Can they do it? Stay tuned. So Southern Brave have got 50 balls left, they've got eight wickets in hand, they need to get 16 runs. I think this is over, don't you? Yeah, this, is, this one's over as a contest, I'm fairly sure. Even, even a hat-trick, even a hat-trick, wouldn't you say? That's, yeah, yeah, I, I, think, I think this contest is over, bar the shouting, as they say. Here, here they come, first ball. Oh, that's, that's gone up! Has it got the legs? Has it got the legs? Turn our bloody phone lights on, for Christ's sakes. So Southern Brave have got to face the never 34 balls with seven wickets in hand. They need five runs. You never know. You never know. But I think this is over. That ball just trundles through to the outfield. Southern Brave take the run. Four to win off of 33 balls. Bowler Sam Cook, whose figures are 22 runs conceded off of 17 balls and zero wickets taken. He comes in, batted away by the batsman James Vince. Win. 